Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to discuss how we can apply or use minimum function using calculative field in Looker or Google Data Studio. So as you can see here in my table I have minimum price over here but if I'll show you the raw data then you can see that we do not have any column which specifically states that whether we have any minimum price column over here against each category. So in this video we are going to apply or use the minimum function as a calculative field in our charts or table from scratch so that you can get the awareness that when, where and how we can apply the minimum function using calculative field. And before we use this function let's understand the minimum function first. So minimum is a type of aggregation function in Looker and it returns the minimum value from a set of numbers. So as you can see over here we have a set of numbers. In this unit price column and if I basically filter out category 4 or let's take category 1 and we have this unit price and if you want to find out what is the lowest price on which this category has been sold as of today then you can use the minimum function okay so now let's go and create a calculative feed using minimum in our table so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on edit first and I have a table over here so you can use this minimum function in any of your visualization widget, right? So I'm going to remove this minimum price. Now think of a scenario where you have multiple columns in your table or in your pivot table in Looker and then you have to add a new column and that column needs to be a calculative field where you need to show the minimum price of a particular category or the minimum value for a particular category then what you can do is that you can come over here under the setup section you have to come to metric and you have to click on add a metric then you have to select the field on which you want to apply this minimum function so for us we want to apply minimum function on unit price so we'll select this unit price as you can see over here we have sum with this unit price as an aggregated function and if we want to change this aggregated function we can click over here on this pencil button and we can select minimum and once you select minimum then you have to give the name suppose I'm giving minimum okay and if you click anywhere on your page then you will see that you have a minimum unit price and you will see that you have a column which basically reflects the minimum value from the set of a numbers based on the category or the field that you have selected. So this is the simplest way that you can use this minimum function using the aggregator over here. Okay. And when you have to create a calculative field and use minimum function, then what you can do is that you can come up over here under the setup section. You have to click on add a metric. Then you can click on create a field. And this is the appropriate way of creating a calculative field with the minimum function. So first I'll give the name. So let's give the name as minimum unit price minimum unit price and then we have to give a formula so as you can see over here the syntax of minimum function is that you have to use a keyword min and then you have to give a numeric field so within this formula what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put the keyword min and as soon as I put this keyword min, you will see that Looker's IntelliSense is giving me two functions. First is minimum function and then second one is minute function. So with the help of this Looker IntelliSense, we can select this minimum function and then we can give the numeric field on which we want to apply this minimum function. So for us, we are going to use unit price. So I have written unit price and as soon as I'll use this unit price column over here in this minimum function you will see that looker is giving us this green signal saying that formula syntax is valid and then you can click on apply and you will see that you have a new column in your table that has been created with the calculative field now as you have successfully applied and used the minimum function using calculative field you might have a question in your mind that how does this minimum function works so this minimum function evaluates the minimum value of a particular expression or a field and this field or this expression can be numeric, date or even a string and return it as a result. So we can use this minimum function with the numeric field, with a date, even with a string 
and it will return us the result. So this is how basically you can use minimum function with calculative field in your looker or Google Data Studio dashboard. Happy learning and see you in the next video.